Hello, it's Magsie Moye. Welcome to this week's playlist. Something or Nothing Songs. This playlist is a selection of 24 tracks by artists and bands from the Small Faces to the Paper Dolls, Banana Rama to Status Quo, all either singing about something or nothing. For someone like me who enjoys comparing and contrasting song lyrics, titles and performances, the idea of something or nothing is intriguing. In no way is this to say that some of the songs chosen are at best something, whilst others amount to nothing. No! Interest lies in the many, many ways those terms have been used by songwriters across the years and musical genres. One of my favourites from the playlist, track seven, is Joe Cocker's version of Something, written by George Harrison and released by the Beatles in 1969. Something is Joe Cocker at his raw and soulful best, complete with the spasmodic body movements and air guitar he attributed to instrumental regret. For AmericanBluesScene.com, he recalled, I guess that came with my frustration at never having played piano or guitar. It's just a way of trying to get feeling out. I get excited and it all comes through my body. By 1980, something had been covered by more than 150 artists, including Shirley Bassey, Frank Sinatra, Elvis Presley, Ray Charles, Booker T and the MGs, James Brown and Smokey Robinson. There's definitely something in the provenance, the lyrics and the music of Harrison's classic song, so surprisingly enhanced by Joe Cocker's distinctively gritty interpretation. There's a lot less, however, almost nothing in rumours that Joe and Jarvis Cocker were related. <laughs> Although both singers came from Sheffield in the UK, Joe Cocker was just a friend of the family who occasionally babysat Jarvis and reputedly fitted a gas fire for Jarvis's mother in the early 1960s. Track 18, Nothing Has Been Proved by the Pet Shop Boys and Dusty Springfield from 1989, is another remarkable performance, this time from legends of synth pop and white soul respectively. The collaborators were powerful and complex in their different ways. The musical drive in performances from the Pet Shop Boys is unmistakable. Their classic West End Girls from 1985 was inspired by poetry from T.S. Eliot and raps from the Bronx to evoke urban paranoia underpinned with a strident bass beat. Dusty's phenomenal mezzo-soprano voice and unique interpretation are evident from six top 20 singles in the US Billboard Hot 100 and 16 in the UK singles chart from 1963 to 1989. Her complex personal life was summed up by one of her partners, Norma Tenega. She wanted to be straight and she wanted to be a good Catholic and she wanted to be black. Nothing Has Been Proved was written and performed for the 1989 film Scandal an account of the Profumo Affair, a famous British political upset from 1963. In keeping with both artists' preference to keep exploring and experimenting musically, the track features an orchestral arrangement by Angelo Badalmenti and a solo on soprano saxophone by Courtney Pine. Despite the playlist title, Something or Nothing, Core lyrics from my two favourite songs demonstrate how apparent opposites may well have similar effects in life. Something in the way she moves me. Surely an invitation to keep exploring what proves so attractive. Nothing has been proved. Just another way of saying that the quest for evidence goes on. In conclusion, Jonathan Harvey, writer of the Dusty Springfield musical, spoke with final optimism about the singer's roller coaster ride through her music and her life. Dusty had everything, lost everything, then got it all back again. Getting it all back is the perfect outcome in a sequence of something and nothing. I hope you enjoy the headlines, the nuances, 
but above all, the excellent music in my playlist.